afternoon. My name is Cecilia Christabel Casonde, being supervised by Dr. Lighton Piri. The title of my study is Policy Driven Strategies for Enhancing Metadata Quality in Electronic Thesis and Dissertations Within Higher Education Institutions. This will be the outline of my presentation. Background Higher Education Institutions are modernizing by adopting digital repositories for ETDs, focusing on metadata quality to boost discoverability and also their utility. The Zambia National ETD portal, for example, illustrates this shift. Although challenges persist in metadata accuracy and comprehensiveness, signifying a research gap in quality enhancement strategies. Problem statement. The study underscores the importance of high quality metadata for ETDs in digital libraries to aid discoverability as well as usability. With poor metadata quality impacting national as well as global ETD services, it identifies challenges in higher education institutional repositories metadata quality, particularly in comprehensiveness and accuracy. This pro proposing an enhanced ingestion strategies to address these issues. Research objectives. My main objective was to identify, analyze, and propose mechanisms for improving metadata quality in ETDs within higher education institution institutional repositories. My specific objectives being to determine education functional IRs, evaluate the ETD data in Zambia and higher education institutions, and data ingestion workflow as well as the policy impact. Those were my research questions. They are just a mirror of my objectives. Significance of the study. The study may validate the significance of metadata quality, promoting actionable recommendations for universities to improve the ingestion of metadata. Theoretical framework. My stud the study was anchored on the data quality framework the study adopted the completeness dimension. This framework was picked as it provides a structural approach to evaluate metadata in ETDs within higher education institutions. Review of related literature. These were some of the literature that I reviewed in the course of the study and the key takeaway, takeaways from these being, while these studies are addressing various aspects of IRs and metadata quality in higher education institutions, there is a notable gap in research, specifically focusing on the challenges strategies for enhancing metadata quality in the Zambian context. Methodology. This research used a mixed method approach, and the design was explanatory sequence design. For the first objective, 62 registered higher education institutions under the Higher Education Authority in Zambia were sampled through a census aiming to determine existing IRs and their operational status. Online questionnaires were used to gather data, and the analysis involved categorizing higher education institutions based on their IR functionality. In the second objective, the target were higher education institutions with functional IRs in Zambia, totaling eight. The sampling involved full data harvest using the Open Archive Initiative Protocol for Metadata Harvesting. The primary analysis for this were the use of the NDLTD, ETDMS Metadata Standard, an international recommended standard for, to measure completeness. So the analysis was quantitative, focusing on the presence and absence of elements stopped by the researchers. Uh, assigned weight, weightings to these elements. So mandatory elements were given a weight of one, while optional elements were given a weight of 0 0.5. So the, pre the presence of each element contributed to the overall completeness score. In the third objective, assistant, 16 assistant librarians from higher education institutions with operational IRs formed the target population using convenience sampling and online semi-structured interviews. For the fourth objective, the target population consisted of eight chief librarians and 16 policy drafters within higher education institutions that had functional IRs. Convenience sampling was used and data was collected through online semi-structured questionnaires. Limitations. 
the study scope is constrained by the limited number of IRs analyzed, potentially introducing bias and limiting broader relevance. Data reliability is challenged by reliance on self-reported information with temporal limitations affecting its currency. Results and discussions. For the first objective, the survey reviewed eight out of 62 Zambian higher education institutions have functional IRs, indicating, of course, an increase in the trend of re repository ad adoption, but yet highlighting significant room for growth. For the second, Objective, the graph shows a range of completeness scores from 3.93 to 5.34, suggesting varying levels of metadata qual quality across institutions. High scores above five are seen with Chalimbana, Mlungushi, Chroma, Texel, University of Lusaka, and the University of Zambia indicate a robust capture of key metadata elements. This, of course, implies effective repository management. For the institutions that have lower scores like Apex and Zikas, it suggests uh, potential improvement as uh, they progress. Overall, the findings do indicate a strong metadata presence in most of these repositories. For the uh, objective on understanding the ingestion of workflows, all institutions indicated a range of scholarly materials held within their IRs with all incorporating ETDs and conference materials. Of course, Nkrumah and Unza go further by including images and undergraduate research showing wide repository content. If we look at the durations, four institutions have maintained their IRs for over three years, while four have maintained them for less than three years. This indicates a spectrum of maturity in IR practices. Unza, of course, stands out for its 14-year history. The study also found a common practice of metadata verification being the responsibility of site librarians. Importantly, the study also reviewed that all institutions have adopted Dublin Core Metadata Schema, affirming its status as a widely recognized standard for metadata consistency. For the, uh, pol for the objective on institutional repository policy, the study reviewed a notable gap in the formulation of these important policies uh, being surveyed with only UNSA and Kwame Nkrumah University having established these policies. So the lack of formalized IR policies in these institutions raised concerns for strategic planning, standardization, formalized management, highlighting the need for consistent metadata standards and also in the submission process as well as accessing different protocols. So the absence of, of these formal policies may actually lead to legal and ethical challenges, hindering the sustainability and trustworthiness, trustworthiness of these institutional repositories in these higher education institutions. Conclusion, the study reviewed a diverse IR functionality across higher education institutions as we've seen with varying levels of operational capabilities and also services. The complexity of the metadata ingested process was also highlighted. The study has also reviewed a clear link between IR policies and metadata quality uh, was also established. Recommendations. To improve metadata quality in institutional repositories, this study recommends a focus on detailed content-specific metadata for enhanced discoverability. The study also recommends that institutions select interoperable metadata schemes in line with global standards. They can also yeah. integrate these schemes with institutional, that was my, my bibliography and those are publications associated with this work. Thank, thank you. you, thank you very much. Um, I now wish to invite questions from the audience. 